Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to Press Club Live. My name is Chilofia Mwelwa. Well, quickly before we start our program, a quick look at stories making headlines. An Amnesty International report quoting witnesses and activists says at least 200 civilians have been killed in Russian airstrikes in Syria. The report findings indicate serious failures by Russia to respect international humanitarian law. Moscow has repeatedly denied a causing civilian deaths describing such claims as part of information warfare and uh, so we have uh, more uh, in terms of news coming later after this show at 16 hours uh, we take a quick break and i introduce to you my guests on the program we're counting down to the end of the year this is part one uh, next week we'll have part two but today is exciting you don't want to miss this Hello, hello. Welcome to Press Club Live. If you're just joining us, good afternoon to you. Today, I'm surrounded by gentlemen, and they're here to speak about what they're doing in their various fields in regards to supporting women and also just speaking out on social evils. Um, today, we focused on the 2015 men's influence. We've had so many issues in the year 2015, and some men have taken it upon themselves to speak up and raise awareness on some of these issues, issues ranging from gender-based violence, issues ranging from um, pulling her down, pulling him down, and you know, bringing down each other in terms of just wanting to reach out and become ambitious and reach our goals, but we don't support one another, especially women. Well, today on the program, I'm privileged to be joined by Magnus Mando, Mag44. Hello. Hi. How, how are, you? are you? I'm well, thank you. It's good to be here. It's good to have you on the show. Good to see you. All right. Also, also you. joining us, uh, not a stranger to TV2, our very own Brian Wembia B. Flo is in the house. Hello. Hello, super fantastic. The video says BBB BBB B flow in the area. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you should. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to have you. Um, yeah. Usually, I have, you know, I, I, I sort of balance the show. Yeah. But today, I just wanted to give it to the men because okay. next week I'll be doing another one just for the women. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. So um, later on on the show, we're expecting to be joined by Pastor Steady Divine, who's also oh. doing phenomenal stuff in terms of encouraging people. He's a life coach, but talking about relationships and also speaking on how men must respect their women. Nice. Awesome stuff. Awesome so stuff. Um, to get started quickly, maybe I'll start with you, uh, Brian. When you hear the word woman, what comes to your mind? Okay. I wish I could show you what's written on my T-shirt here. I care about my wife, daughter, mother, sister. Don't That's violate what, them. That's awesome. what comes to my mind. Yes. Wow. My mother, my sister, my daughter, my wife. Yeah. Every woman, my aunt, every woman that I see anywhere in any community for me uh, represents that good person that contributes something even to what a man becomes in society. I believe that... Uh, the values that we uphold in society, even as men, mm -hmm. are as a result of the time that we spent with our mothers. Yeah. Because our mothers have more time with us than our fathers. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. for you, that uh, female is presence... A woman is, is a role model yeah. to me. A role model. Awesome. I yeah. like that. Magnus, for you? A woman, when I think of a woman, I think she's like an example of love. Okay. You know, because... Um, there's just no, the love that a woman has is yeah. far beyond when you, uh, only, only a woman can portray what real love is, whether it's, it's, a, it's a mother to a daughter, a mother mm -hmm. to a child, uh, just a, a wife to a husband. Like, women have got so much more power. In, in my album, I've got a song there called Inchito. Basically, it just talks about how a woman can do anything. You know, like, yeah. we, uh, a lot of the times, society has tried to limit what a woman can do, but I think a woman can do anything because she's got so much love in her, because mm -hmm. she's got so much, so much power, mm -hmm. and uh, and I feel like that's the first thing that that comes to mind when I think about 
when when someone says woman. You know, yeah, that's I know. I know you've I've looked at both your albums. Yeah. You've you've done a song, Strength of a Woman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, album. Different different songs with or the word woman. In, in there. <laughs> yeah. And then you also have one, Strength yeah. of a Woman. Well, it's called it's called in Chito. In Chito. It, it, um, mm -hmm. it actually, I have an interlude in the album okay. where Jagari Chanda is explaining, you know, how powerful a woman is, saying that, look, women, in essence, are stronger than men because uh -huh. of how much, how much they have to take and how mm -hmm. much. I mean, they they are they are expected to do the work that a man is 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 supposed to do and beyond. So yeah. and and take care of the family and and do so much. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I definitely had to. I mean, I was raised by a single mom, and that's why I wanted to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, is is your work coming from a background of having gone through a situation where you 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 feel you need to stand up and yeah. speak for women? Yeah, you were gonna um, get into your I'm upbringing. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I was raised like I said, my mom, uh, my my dad passed on when I was four, when I was five, so my mom pretty much raised us. My mom then later on passed on when she was when I was uh, about 16 years old. Okay. So my older sister, who used to work here actually, Kundamando, she practically raised me, took me to college, took me to school, taught me how to be a man. Yeah. So, in, <laughs> you know, sometimes when, when men try to isolate themselves from women, it doesn't make any sense because, like, who taught you how to be a man? Mm. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a woman. <laughs> so at the end of the day, there is a lot of respect. There is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, power mm. that that is taken away from women, but when they do so much, you know, yeah. I, and mm. I feel like uh, even for me, the courage, like w with the name of the album, uh, Brave On, I feel that the fear left, the, I had a lot of fears, you know, I had a lot of fear of, of what people would say about my music, because, you know, I do gospel music, but I talk about real issues, and sometimes people are like, hey, a Christian shouldn't say yeah. that and whatnot, you know what I mean? But uh, I feel that that fearlessness also came just when I married my wife, my wife gave me that, that thing of, look, you can do anything. I'm here. I'm supporting you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mm. there is, right now, I just feel like I'm at a point in my life where no one can tell me anything. Because like you can do it all. I can do it all. I can yeah. do it all. And it's, it's, it's power that comes from, from the women in my life, my yeah. older sister, my mother. By my wife. So yeah. yeah. Awesome, Brian. For you, how was it? Well, I did not know that we share, share a same similar story. story. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was raised by a single mother. Yeah. I've never actually experienced the love of a father. Yeah. I've never experienced what it means to be taught anything by a, a father mm -hmm. or a man, yeah. uh, because everything I am today is as a result of the lessons, um, yeah. the love, the care, yeah. and the time that I had with and from my mom. So I've been with my mom all the time, and as, as a young person, we, we, we are two in our family, me and my young brother, mm -hmm. and both of us are very good men. Um, I'm proud to say I'm a good man. You must say so. Because yeah, you must say so. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes. I can testify. Yes, <laughs> and I was taught how to be a man, yeah. I, I'll echo the words of Mag, uh, by a woman, yeah. uh, and that's my mother, and I always wish that I, my mother could have a voice in society and speak yeah. out for some of the things that she was going through because I saw the yeah. struggles even at a time you know mothers have got this tendency of not wanting to disclose what they are really feeling inside because yeah. they want their children to feel comfortable all the time despite what they're going through but yeah. it's at the middle of the night when everybody else is sleeping that the yeah. pain is really uh, experienced by them because now they are contemplating and thinking of what will happen next you know so I yeah. saw how sometimes we could not eat we could not have lunch. I could see her trying to make a garden in the backyard. Wow. I saw her when she was unemployed. My mother uh, did not have so much uh, education. Um, and so I, I could see the struggles that a woman could go through in a situation where she's unemployed or not educated and yeah. all that stuff. And I, I wish that society could give such opportunities to women, always. I remember when I was about 10 years old, uh, I felt like I wish I could be my mother's spokesperson and speak out for her one time. Yeah. And that's why I think I called my album Voiceless Woman because I thought that a woman needed a voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel we're at a point in society when women can speak. I believe you too, if you can speak for yourself very well, yeah. but you also need the support of the men. And that's why it's very important that good men should be able to amplify the voices of women.
Awesome. Yeah, right. We're joined by Pastor Steady Divine. Hello. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good. good how are you? Good to be here. Good, good to have to you, you um, so on the much. show. Thank We're talking so about, you know, what has inspired, you know, these good men here um, in terms of speaking out for women, speaking out on issues that are happening in society, evils in yeah. society. And I know that you have, you know, your fair share of yeah. life and, and, and yeah. you are also vying for the woman to be respected mm -hmm. especially in terms of relationships well i mean that's definite i think uh it's also a risky business because when you stand exactly yeah for, for, <laughs> for the women because a lot of guys don't like you yeah i always give an example one time i was going to do a, a show with case smash and he was telling his friends hey guys chill in i'm gonna be uh you know chatting with uh uh, steady Vine on the show says, ah, no, I don't listen to that guy. He's always defending the women and speaking <laughs> out for the women. But, but I think a lot of times men don't realize that. Um, I, I'll, I've, I've made a statement over and over and says, I would take a bullet for the women. Because Ooh. I think women wow. need men that are strong enough. I've always said a, a, a woman needs a man with strong shoulders to be able to carry her and yeah. not faint. And yeah. I, unfortunately, we live in a society where there are not too many good men, yeah. you know, out there that are able to allow a woman to become successful and just yeah. secure enough that she's doing pretty good and she's, yeah. she's, she's doing, pushing her dreams and pushing her agenda. Yeah. You know, there's certain things a woman shouldn't deal with, you know, yes. in her life because there's a man in her life. Yeah. But unfortunately, a lot of our women, like m my brothers have said, a lot yeah. of our women are dealing with issues they're not yeah. supposed to be dealing with because yeah. too many sissies out there, you yeah. know. So unfortunately, men are not st 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 stepping out and supporting the women to be able to achieve their dreams. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a man's responsibility. And that's why I said I don't make apologies, you know, for, uh, you know, for, you know, like today I put up a quote that also got me in trouble. I and saw that yeah, and I was, yeah. was going <laughs> to ask you about that. Yeah, yeah. Where you're speaking of, you yeah. know, if, if she's a queen, exactly. crown her. Crown her. If if you don't, yeah. then leave her. Let somebody you know, else crown, crown her and just and go, go continue, continue being, being a, a clown. Man, you wow. follow that? <laughs> <laughs> she said it. Yeah, I had to read it. She had to say it from me. Because I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. 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 But then also, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's so much debate out there. Like you're saying, yeah. people will think, well, this guy, he's trying to be funny, telling yeah. us what to do. Mm. Yeah. Um, Others would think you, you're all in, you know, you're in entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're doing something, of course, that's close to your heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. But at the same time, you're showing out your talent and making money out of exactly. it. Yeah. Others exactly. would say it's a publicity stunt. <laughs> you all just want to sell your album. <laughs> the social and enterprise. Sell, sell and yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Sell coaching sessions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah, it? <laughs> exactly. I, I, I think if you, if for me, I've listened to Biflo, I've listened to Mark 44, and I've worked with these guys, you know, you yeah. notice that that men that are seated on this panel are not men that are driven by money. Yeah. You notice that they're men that are driven by passion. Yeah. You know, if you never paid me for what I do, I would still show up and be able to do my assignment and do my yeah. job. It's good to mm -hmm. make the money out of what you're passionate mm -hmm. about. Exactly. But people misunderstand these things because they feel like it's about status, it's about getting likes and comments, mm -hmm. you know, to or just drive traffic to what you're doing and make money out of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I am glad that I had to, I have to sit on a panel with men that are, you know, it's passion. It's, it's yeah. beyond... If you asked us, you notice that we put in more of our own money in what we do <laughs> yeah. than what we get. Yeah. Yeah. If you asked us, you know, if people would be able to tell you that. Yeah. So I think it's, and I, I am so excited that you brought up a topic like this to be able to speak and, and the men to be able to stand up and be a voice. Look at what is happening in our country. Mm. A man gets his gun and puts, a, you know, puts it on the head of a woman. You said, I do too. You said, you, 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 yeah. you promise. You. Because a woman is just entrusted in your care. You are a yeah. custodian. Yeah. At the end of your life, you will have to give an audit report of what you did with a woman that was in trusted in your exactly. care, exactly. whether you're married to her, whether she's a woman you're dating or women you intend to, to work with. And, yeah. and unfortunately, there are a lot of men that are playing with women's emotions out there. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to have more men standing up and speaking out and being a voice. Right. Yeah. I wanted to find yeah. out, do you men, good men sitting here, have people you look up to, influencing, uh, influential people that you look up to or influential men that you mm -hmm. look up to and say, this one's making a difference and I yeah. want to be like him when I grow up? Yeah. Definitely. I mean, there's, um, there's, a, there's a, my, my business partner's father. I mean, unfortunately, he's not someone. <laughs> he's a celebrity. I don't really. I mean, I don't really don't look up to. And they don't have to be a celebrity. Yeah, exactly. I don't really. Mm. Yeah. So for me, he's he's uh, Mr. Isaac Chitundu. He's a very. He's such a huge influence on my life. Okay. I love the way he loves his wife. Like I love the way he takes care <laughs> of his home. Yeah. It's just like. 
to me, I just say, wow, I, I, one day I want to be like this man. He's such a wise man. He's such an understanding man. Um, I remember when we, when we started our studio, he allowed us to use like a bedroom in the house. And, you know, we were making noise. <laughs> we were making noise. But he allowed, but he allowed us. He allowed us to be creative. And I just loved, and, 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 and mom, uh, Ian's mom, she was always, like, encouraging us, even when it wasn't making sense, you yeah, know, even when sure. it wasn't making money at the time. She would always encourage us and say, look, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah. And, you know, now I even, I even get upset sometimes with myself. I'm like, ah, snap. I need to go visit them <laughs> because now I'm so busy and now I'm too busy for them. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. but, but you know, there are people who, who just believe in you, you know, mm. and I feel that, uh, that, that, that belief mainly comes from women. You know, yeah. when we, we usually get that, that's why I feel like a lot of men get really hurt when a woman is puts puts them down when their yeah. wife puts them down when their True. their mother like if your mother puts you down that's it <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, then exactly. really even if the whole world loves you but your mother doesn't love you hey yeah. you know what i mean yeah. so it's like it's uh, us as as men as much as we we try to deny it we need the love from from our women from we our cry mothers. privately we do it, yes you know what i mean we do well, that's the that's the honest truth no matter how gangster you are yeah. <laughs> but okay, i mean if tupac can sing a song about his mother yeah. you know there yeah. must be something there so mm. that's 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 uh, i think that's what about for you yeah. brian uh, I have a couple of people that are very influential in my life, and these are people who are not famous. Yeah. Uh, I went to a church called um, Healing Temple under the Pentecostal Assemblies of God in Kawe about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And there are people I met there, like one elder, Elder Chama, uh, okay. who still lives in Kawe, and I actually visited him yesterday in Kawe. He's, he's a very good man. He's a man that has inspired me, uh, even from the way he just loves his family, the way he loves his daughters, the way he loves his wife, and the way he just takes care of them, and the way he talks about them proudly, uh, really, really inspires me. And I feel there are not so many men out there that are able to proudly speak about their wives, yeah. maybe because other people will find out that they are married. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they have to hide. But yeah, the market. That's all right. You know, the market. The market. You don't want to lose the market. You don't want to lose the market. <laughs> Yes, and yeah, then there's okay. another one called um, Anko Chikopela. Okay. Anko Chikopela is around, he's in Lusaka, he's in Divala, and he's a man that I really love to visit. Yeah. He encourages me a lot about my relationships, about um, how I can continue to be that voice that amplifies the voices of women. Okay. He's, yeah. he's just amazing with the way he also shows wow. love and care to his family and his All wife. Right. For you, study quickly as we get to the next question. Well, I think for me, it's my spiritual father. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, Dr. Nevis Mumba. I okay. think for yeah. me, he's been an, ex uh, an excellent example. Yep. Uh, Dr. Mumba is just uh, the bomb diggity for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb diggity. Yes. You know, awesome. I mean, he's, he's inspired me. He's put it on. And secondly, I'm actually writing a book about him. It's my covenant brother, Charles. Mm. Uh, you know, he lives in the United Kingdom. I think there are a few good men. And Charles Mtonga has been a man like that to me. Wow. If you want to look at a man that takes care of his kids, who raises his children, and takes care of his wife, even in a you know, state where he's been challenged. You know, he was involved in ac an accident. He, had a, his, you know, he uses his crutches, but he's an excellent father. I mean, I could never have asked for a better gift than a covenant brother like him wow. because mm -hmm. he's an example of a great man. He's an yeah. example of a great father. When I look at him, I, had, I told him, I said, I must write a book about you, you know, the portrait of godly manhood. Yeah. And that guy is a man for me. Right. Yeah. After all, they do say that uh, all men can father a child, yeah. but it takes a man <laughs> to be a father. <laughs> to be a father, yes? guys. All right. Nice. Um, <laughs> but okay. also, your work, you know, in, in doing what you're doing, I know there are challenges. Yes. Um, like you said, already friends sometimes mm -hmm. look at you and say, uh, dude, What's what you're doing is... <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, yeah. Yeah. Society has its own sort of perceived norms yeah. of how women should be treated. Mm -hmm. um, I, for example, grew up knowing that girls should be in the kitchen and shouldn't yeah. sort of pursue certain things yeah. only for, for guys and whatnot. So yeah. how do you then um, sort of uh, balance between what society and tradition is saying and the fact that women have to come out and speak and be free and express mm -hmm. themselves mm -hmm. and, and you doing your, your work in, in pushing that agenda forward. Yeah. Brian, you can go first. Well, for me, it's, uh, I think I, I persevere because, like I told you, it's got a lot to do with my, my background, my upbringing, okay. and what, what my environment has presented, you know. 
having lived in such an environment where I, I really know what women have gone through and I really know what women are still going through in this country, for me, it just drives me to just go ahead and uh, do the right thing. I've, I've always uh, observed that when you're doing something really good, even Jesus Christ, yeah. you face a lot of opposition and it's normal. I think it's normal for society sometimes not to be... Uh, on your not, side. not to be on your side all the time, you know. So I, I, I choose to just carry on. Even when I look at my album Voiceless Woman, when I started, I had a lot of um, resistance uh, from even the fans themselves because they wanted me to be dance hall. They wanted me to continue with the kind of vibe I was giving them on my first album. Mm -hmm. I had uh, fellow artists um, speak against what I was doing. Others thinking it's a money-making venture. I'm just trying to win the the hearts of the NGOs, you know, uh, sometimes I had women, you know, sometimes I had women say, but we can speak for ourselves, do we, do we need someone to say he's our voice? And all that stuff. And I never said I was the voice, it's people that said, oh, the, the voice of women, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah, the voice for the women and all that stuff. Yeah, so, but for me, uh, w when I saw the success that that album brought at the end of it, or because of the perseverance that I uh, attached to it, mm -hmm it made me realize that when you persevere and you really believe in what you're doing, no matter what they say, you will definitely succeed and be able to get the results that you're looking for. Yeah. Right. For you, Mag, I know you've done yeah. so many interesting songs on your, on your yeah. new album. You've yeah. done one for your wife as well. Yeah. Um, you, you've, yeah. you've also done one where you're talking about us as Africans using yes. our skills yes. to persevere. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think, like, for this album, I wanted to, I wanted to propose a mentality. Yeah. You know, like a, a lifestyle that mm -hmm. Africans can adopt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like that's, that's when the society will change. Mm -hmm. Society won't change when you get a new president. Society mm -hmm. won't change when we take out it's ministers. A it's thing. a mindset of every single person. That's true. We need to be thinking a certain way. And that's when the, the level will go up. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, I mean, of course, the, the impact from one person is, is important. But... I'm thinking if all of us as Zambians, as Africans, said, look, we are able to build our own uh, machinery. We are able to, to, to uh, source our own funds. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If all of us as Africans said, look, we are able to do this, there is no way we can fail. Mm -hmm. So what I, what I feel even, even uh, people will always challenge what we say. We say, well, look, if, if we are talking about women now, why are you talking about women? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing love songs? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this, this? You know, uh, at the end of the day, for me, I know that if we have a certain mentality as people, we'll be able to achieve great things. Mm. And, and I feel that's what we are all trying to promote, yes. trying, to, trying to see, look, what if we thought like this? What if as Africans we lived outside this box mm. that has been created for us? Then what are we going to be able to do? And, and I think that's, that's an important that's thing. Too. That's I think, I think exactly. we're, trying, we're trying to show an example of yeah. how it should be. How it should be. That's yeah, why exactly. sometimes, like, for me, I'm involved in, in this campaign called I Care About Her, and it's strictly for men yeah. who want to stand up for women and be able to show that they care yeah. and also influence other men to be part of that. So yeah. I think we're just trying to be an example that others can also emulate. It's like mm -hmm. what he said where yeah. you say, how about if we did things this way? What, what about if you became uh, something like what Mag 44 is, yeah. has been? Yeah. What, what of another man out there, can they also emulate and do the same? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right. Steady, your views on this? <coughs> well, I think for me, uh, like, uh, uh, as the mind goes, so the man follows. Nice. You know, uh, yeah. if we change the way we think. All right. I'm yeah. being given a sign quickly. Sorry to disturb you. We have a caller on the line. Hello. Oh, we lost you. Oh, like, please call us and you get through to the program. Contribute, question, and just your comment. Uh, we're talking 2015 men's influence, and we have very influential men in the studio um, doing their work. And you can yeah. play a part, too. It's not too late. 2016 yeah. is just around the corner. Um, yeah. Steady, you were on the floor. Yeah, so I, I think mindset uh, is very critical to the shipping. Uh, you know, of our trends and our cultures and men becoming more responsible, you yeah. know, and men beginning to change the face of this country and the continent. And I like the fact we're speaking 
as, uh, on an African level. So mm -hmm. it's not just local as Zambia, yeah. Yeah. but Africa. So the influence starts from Zambia, and we are taking it out there and okay. exporting it out, mm -hmm. and we are beginning to challenge things. Yeah. You know, I always say if we give Zambia 20 trillion or uh, yeah. to change this country, we can never change <laughs> we can it never change until it, yeah. we change our mindset. Exactly. Then we're going to change a country yeah. and a continent. Yeah. And I've come to realize that we are our biggest enemy. I yeah. think sometimes we always want to say the West or Africa is where it is because mm. of the West. No, <laughs> no, it's not their problem. Yeah. We are the biggest problem. Yeah. And we need to start looking inside. It's the trends, it's the traditions. We've mm. allowed ourselves to land us in the trouble we are in as a continent. So we need to get out there and become a voice to be able to shape you know what we're doing yeah. and that's why and, and this is one thing that breaks my heart because yeah. industries like what uh, these gentlemen are doing mm. are industries we need to empower yeah. we need them to be successful in what they do they need everything because they're the voice they're speak, yeah. speaking to the people if we empower them they'll begin to change mindsets they'll begin to change how men think and yeah. i've always said if men will change yeah. if men will change the world will change exactly yeah. men we are the biggest culprits until yeah. we put our game straight who will never be able to change this country mm -hmm. i mean i was talking to a friend of mine and i suggested says i think we're ready for a female president and they made statements about women and my heart <laughs> was broken mm -hmm. so if men start looking at women in a different angle and perspective that these are women that can lead this country yeah. and i strong and, and i strongly believe women can yeah. If we have the right women, we give them an opportunity. And like I said, we have to start clapping for these women. We have to yeah. start cheering them. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, and I know a lot of some guys will say you're just trying to suck up. No, it's not sucking up. It's yeah. just the right <laughs> responsibility. Yeah. When, we have a cho when we have a chance, I'll, I'll quote a scripture. When God says, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Okay. A lot of people, a lot of men don't read that scripture because yeah. there's a way that says <laughs> nourish her. That word nourish means that a man must be able to give life to his woman. You sustain her. Yeah. If your woman looks dull and dead, you are the cause. It's your fault. Exactly. It's yeah. your fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when men hear things like this, they get upset. But it's biblical. Go read your Bible. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and you will see how God looks at the picture of a woman, nourish her. Mm -hmm. yeah. It means sustain, give her life, let mm -hmm. her begin to glow. Yeah. So if she's not glowing, don't go look for anybody to blame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The because one. also there's a debate <laughs> yeah. that, well, this whole women empowerment, is it really worth all this fuss? Yeah. Women <laughs> must just sit and, you know, yeah. listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, it I, is I, a big I think deal. It's it is a big deal. Yeah. It is a big deal. But you see, when men stand up and begin to push the women, we will not even start saying women should go back and sit. Why should they sit when God created them to be the helpers? You yeah. know, I mean, uh, Barack Obama would have never been successful at what he does if, it, if there wasn't a Michelle Obama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because almost for 20 years, I think 15 years of their marriage, Michelle is the one that sustained Barack Obama. Barack Obama was doing community work and pushing all those things. Okay. But that woman was successful, and she took care of her home. She took care of Barack Obama, and she pushed. Yeah. All right. Until she was employed right. before he... he yeah. was okay. Okay. We have a caller on the line. This discussion is getting more interesting. We have a caller. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, and how are you? I'm good, thank you. Who are we speaking to? We're speaking to Margaret within Lusaka. Margaret, go ahead. All right, um, I'd like to participate in the program by saying that uh, we are really grateful with the men that like Bifu and uh, Mike 44 that are trying by all means to, to empower women or rather support women so they can empower Thank themselves. You. But it's quite obvious also that other men, the other men out there that do not support gender between men and women because they fear and they don't have the courage to stand up against women. They mm -hmm. fear that women can be more powerful than them. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate as women, as ladies, and as girls, for people that are able to talk on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Most especially, I would also like to encourage those who are listening from out there that they should gather the courage and support their wives, children, sisters, and daughters, instead of them violating them, beating them, maybe defiling children, and doing all sorts of evil to, to women or girls. So that's my participation. And then also, um, I must say, Bisro is one of the people that is doing a really great job in terms of women. Almost Thank all his songs talk about women. We salute to my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Margaret. Uh, quick comments on Margaret's uh, issue and, and, and um, her comments. And she's brought out a very uh, important issue, yeah. the fact that so many men, we, we, we look at men as our 
as our protectors, exactly. as exactly. our partners, as our friends. Mm -hmm. But these are the same people who are defiling yeah. our babies, yeah. our women, yeah. our sisters, our yeah. mothers, our grandmothers. Mm -hmm. Right. What goes on in these minds? <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, for me, I actually feel bad that um, I, I, I know uh, Steady Divine said something like, um, we're in a society where there are a lot of bad men. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, I actually believe that in our society there are a lot of good men, but the good men are passive. They are, they are so quiet and they, they can't speak out for, yeah. for women. Yeah. And I do agree with what Margaret says. But it's the bad men that we always hear about because they they are reported against because they are always uh, making headlines when they beat their wives when they defile the children you know the, the good men are so quiet and that's why it's very very important that the good men stand should up. Stand, stand up and, and come out yeah. and be on platforms like this so yeah. that people can see that good men are there and other good men should be able to join and say oh that's the okay. way to go. Yeah. All right, another caller. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Could you kindly speak up? Hello. Hi, we can hear you now. Go ahead. Yes, this is Nita. Okay. Go ahead, ma'am. I just want to thank this law and my for They really empower us. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just go to say, yeah. say that. <laughs> you okay. know, um, yeah, even yeah. when we were speaking, um, I, I feel the biggest thing also is fear. Mm. You know, fear. sometimes, yeah. And, Ma and Margaret did bring that. Yes, yes, yes. Th th A lot of men, they're scared. They're scared. <laughs> they are, we are, because, that women again, take over like, the show. Yeah. No, 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 not only that, <laughs> you're scared, like, if you're with your boys, right? And then mm -hmm. you're like, ah, you don't want to <laughs> exactly <laughs> say, say, like, a sissy, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 so you're thinking, okay, no, I can't tell my friends like, that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, even me, just saying, when I'm trying to say, I love you. Mm -hmm. to my wife, mm. you have to face the hide. That's you, babe. And then you find one of your friends. I, know what you mean. Mean. I, don't know, I wasn't talking to us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's so that it's thing hard of to show affection, to show affection yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel, th and that's what I, that's what I talk about. I emphasize on uh, this album. Uh, it's being brave only mm -hmm. is what we need people to be. Awesome. You know, to not be afraid of what what has been set as okay. This is the, the majority look at things like mm. this, and this is how things are. Mm. No, we need break to barriers. be. We need to break barriers exactly, and mm. and being fearless is what is what enables us to to yeah. when when you say okay, look, I'm not. I love my wife, and I'm not afraid. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm not afraid to say it. Mm. You know, like that, you're breaking barriers, mm -hmm. yeah. and now we wouldn't have known. If we never spoke out about our women and, 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 and spoke about, about women in general, um, we wouldn't have known that there are people like Margaret who respect what, what B-Flo exactly. is doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm. So if B-Flo never, never took the initiative to make that album, mm. no one would have, he wouldn't have known that, no, this album, uh, people are going to appreciate it mm. until he actually does it. Yes. You know, and that's what action. we need. We need action. We need men of action. We need even women of action. Because mm -hmm. I, I know that, I mean, I've seen my wife is in many, you know, these groups and, and, mm. and things that so like you know like it's 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 a fear that also women have you know mm. they will be like ah no don't let him no don't do that he'll leave you you know what i mean yeah. you don't don't confront him about this situation because he'll leave you you know and there's all this mm. there's all this fear i'm dying not trying inside. yes there's all this dying inside i'm not trying to say you know let's let's start a war but you know they they to some degree we do need to fight for, for if we want to see a change, we do need to be able to, uh, to, to not take nonsense and say, okay, look, you know what, this is not happening, this is, this is not right, and, and, and get th things done. And I feel that's what gentlemen like Steady Divine and, and, and B Flo are doing. You know, they're going out there and actually acting towards what they are thinking. Mm. Yeah. Well, Steady. And, and then I, th I think another thing we need to, to start looking at is also just to challenge the women out yeah. there. We need to get to a place where we need to start to speak to women to yes. really believe in who they are. Okay, exactly. let's get this call. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Who are we speaking to? This is Cheryl calling from uh, Lusaka. Okay, go ahead, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to air my views on the comments that was made. Hello? Go, yeah. go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. That uh, there are a lot of bad men. I think uh, that is uh, a hypothetical statement that should be uh, clarified <laughs> because I, okay. there are people like uh, D. Flo there and a uh, lot of others that are not coming out as celebrities to come and speak, over, uh, speak for women. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the other thing I want to uh, clarify again is 
there are a lot of women breaking up homes. Eh? You find that uh, a happily married couple, there's this category, especially those at colleges, breaking up these homes. And uh, you come out to always criticize men a lot. But what is it that is being done to uh, educate those girls, especially at Wunda, Nipa, those colleges? There are a lot of girls <laughs> breaking up marriages. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for your contribution. <laughs> Quick comment on that. Okay, uh, he's talking about uh, people <coughs> criticizing men all the time, and I feel that uh, I think Steady Divine was about to speak about something to do with women having self-esteem. Yeah. Courage, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. and mm -hmm. also them believing in themselves, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it starts so with them. Well, yeah. I, I think you see the key thing, thank you, Riflo. I think the key thing is we also need to start to speak to the minds of our women mm -hmm. to let them realize their worth and their value. Because, I mean, you, you heard a statement Riflo made. He says the women we are saying we didn't tell him to be our voice. Mm -hmm. yeah, so sometimes it's very painful to fight for someone who doesn't, who doesn't want, want to, to be vote for. Sometimes this campaign becomes confusing because yeah. you, you're getting there, you're standing up to be a voice yeah. and saying this is what you deserve. Yeah. But yeah. they'll still go back, you know, and go and eat from a place they're not supposed to, to eat from. Yeah. And this is one thing I've said. When I go, I, I look forward to having my daughters. The first Valentine's date, yeah. I'm going to be the man. Nice. So if I can love her from that point, I'm go she's going to date me first before she dates any other man. Yeah. Then we're instilling in our girls the value yeah. to know your worth and what yeah. your value is. Mm. So when you walk in the street, you will not walk not knowing who you are. Because yeah. your father told you, you know, how to be a good man. I have a son. Yeah. You know, every time I'm with him, we are ladies, I'll tell him, go open. My son is six years old. Mm -hmm. You know, and one time he says, Dad, it's tough to be a man. He says, it's worth it. Yeah. He had to go and, okay, I'm going to open the door. And he's only six. Yeah. So mentorship starts at a tender, at a tender age. age. Yeah. Yeah. Mentoring our sons, becoming yeah. the right examples. I gave an example two days ago. Every Monday I do what I call men Monday and Wednesday I do girl Wednesday. And I said, you see... My biggest responsibility is to mm. be the best man. Yeah. So yeah. when my son begins to ask me questions about life, I have a CV to tell him. Mm -hmm. This is how a man acts. This is how a man looks like. Yeah. So being a man is a tough job. You've got to be ready. If you, I mean, even chickens can father, you know, <laughs> but that doesn't make them real men. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. have to be the man that is going to take full responsibility. But just a big thing to our ladies, please know your value. Yeah. Don't undersell yourself, regardless yeah. of what situation you are yeah. in. Because, yeah. I mean, like the gentleman who called, he's talking about young girls dating men that are married yeah. and mm. you're getting married. And remember, ladies, mm. it's a seed you're sowing for a f future marriage. That's because right. if you are sowing to break someone's home, mm. that seed is going to follow you. Yeah. So yeah. we need to tell these women, and it's also lack of identity. Yeah. You choose to be ATM, you choose to be number two when you can be the queen. Mm. I could slap you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and forgive me. No, that's good. No, laying on, laying on. All right, Maggie. You know, when, when you were speaking, I was thinking um, with regards to to uh, what the gen. I don't know if I heard right, but you were saying. You know, also, basically, you're saying some women are also bad. You know, mm -hmm. it's not just the men yeah. who are bad. Mm -hmm. And which, again, brings us back to us individuals being the change we want to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, exactly. let's, not, let's not say, no, they are bad people, so therefore, <laughs> even me, I'm bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> even things like corruption. Like, yeah. um, I've seen situations where it w it, it, someone, someone tried not to be corrupt. Mm. But it would have been a lot easier if he was corrupt, you know what I mean? Mm. But it doesn't mean that he's done the right thing to mm. be corrupt just because it's easier. It's, mm. it's not going to be an easy... Change is not easy. Yeah. Change is not easy and we are going to take... It's going to take the effort. Mm. It's going to take a lot of effort from us and not looking at, oh, look, this is the way society exactly. is, so yeah. let me just fit in. Yeah. Mm. Then you are doing nothing, you mm. know what I mean? And mm. the people who change the world are the ones who say, no, mm. okay, this is the way the world is, all right, but I, I'm going to create my exactly. own world. Yeah. So if true. you want to come and live so in true. it, mm. yeah. be, we are welcome, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think we, we need to, as we shouldn't, we shouldn't say, no, these are bad people, and we should always, mm. yeah. always, uh, try to counteract against and avoid uh, the blame game. Yes, thought, the blame before game. Before I lose my, yes, my quick sir. thought on what he was saying, when everything went wrong, and I love to give this point, when everything went wrong in the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. God didn't look for Eve. <laughs> he looked for Adam. Adam. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. On that thought. <laughs> yes. yeah. Hello, Cola. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. 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 Hello, ma'am. How are you? 
Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Who are we speaking to? Hi, how are you? Who are we speaking to? Hello? Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? We can hear you. Uh, we are speaking to Faith. Okay, go ahead. From Dollar. Okay. Hello? Go, go ahead. Hi, Faith. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's, Hello. she's on the phone. Hello. I just wanted to contribute on this program. Okay. That is my first time watching it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love uh, the job that these guys are doing. Like this flow, this flow and uh, Mad for People and the other guy there. Thank I you. just want to appreciate you guys. You are really doing a good job. Continue with this so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling all the way from Dola. Wow. Fantastic. Chilke, that's that. so motivating, I'm yeah. telling you. You know, yeah. so, so many times some of us get frustrated because, <laughs> you know, you're trying to fight for something and then you feel like people are not even appreciating what you're doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think it's one thing to appreciate me and another to appreciate what I'm doing. I think I would, I would appreciate if I understand that people appreciate what I do because it's yeah. a contribution I'm trying to make to society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to hear people say all those great... Um, show gratitude like that i think yeah. for me it's it's amazing and motivates me to want to continue doing this work right. yeah. um uh, quickly before we we end the show yeah. there's also the issue of women not supporting themselves yeah. Yeah. Very true. Um, they call it a uh, well pull her down, pull her down. syndrome yeah. where one woman you know is doing something phenomenal mm. and women are like yeah. She's just a show off, yeah. you know, and then, you know, it, it's just discouraging, really. Mm. Um, it's great that this country has, for the first time ever, a female vice president. Mm. Yeah. And that should be somewhere we should all start from and yeah. celebrate that celebrate. particular yes, person. Yeah. But yes. what can you tell? What is your message to the women as we get into 2016 mm. uh, in terms of moving forward yeah. and leaving the past behind, supporting one another and encouraging one another? Right. Biflo, you can go first. Please. Please remember to change your mindset now. Make it a resolution for 2016 that yeah. you will be able to support a fellow woman next yeah. year. And yeah. let it just be a new beginning where everybody should support each other. Before, we, we don't even have to be here today to speak for women if the women will be able to appreciate themselves and also speak for themselves. But because everybody just thinks about themselves and yeah. that they are the best, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. So please appreciate yeah. others before you even appreciate yeah. yourself. All right. Ultimately, you know, like, uh, like I said before, love is the key. Uh, so, uh, a lot of women, I feel like sometimes when, when a woman sees another woman succeed, you know, a man sees another man succeed, mm. and they are just like, ah, this woman probably, you know, slept with somebody, or this man probably mm. did some sort of corrupt thing. Mm. I feel like that sometimes comes from the fear of, okay, we are not succeeding. Yeah, <laughs> so like I'm, I'm still I'm a, yes, me, I'm still in the same point. Mm. So it's like trying to conquer that fear with 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 all that malice you know uh, i think the, the the most important thing is love if you read corinthians 13 uh first corinthians 13 it just explains what love is and i feel that both women and men mm -hmm. need to begin to love each other yeah. when you when you have love for somebody you you want only the best for them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even even if and, and and i feel wanting the best for other people Gets, gives you the best at yeah. the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that. We are all about the people who surround, who surround us. us. Yeah. And when you show someone else love, why should that love person hate you? you? You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> Steady. Well, when, when I first saw B-Flo uh, being called out by Barack Obama, I was actually oh, going on... Going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. I was, going, by, I was, I was yeah. going on radio. That, I think 30 minutes before I saw yeah. your the clip, you yeah. know, Barack Obama. Yeah. That's a first statement I made when I went on air and says, come on, guys, we need to clap and celebrate yeah. this flow. Can we do That's it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Well, well done. I mean, I mean th that's what we need to yeah. do. Yeah. When women see other women succeeding and becoming better, yeah. as we're encouraging you as men, we, you also need to encourage yourselves on how you'll be able to support each other, right. clap for one another, celebrate one another, and also decide to become successful. Like uh, Mark said, mm. if you're not succeeding, you, you become bitter. You yeah. are looking for opportunities to slander somebody yeah. Yeah. because nothing is working, you know, yeah. in your life. So yeah. you're looking for someone to be able to slander. So women, we'll support you, but go out there and support each other and make it happen. And my passion is for women. Also, women need a lot of mentorship to be able to tick yeah. at the global level. Yeah. We, 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 we've seen local champions. We want to see international champions. Amen yeah. to that. Yeah. Thank you very much. And I quickly, um, Mr. Producer, if you could allow me quickly just to share this. Uh, you were talking earlier about...
how children see what we do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yesterday, my husband sent me a message yeah. saying, uh, my son, my, my five-year-old, was having a conversation with daddy. Mm. And he was saying that he wants to um, have his wife work at ZNBC. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to work where daddy works, wow. and he wants to be dropping his wife at work and bringing wow. her up. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Great example. So those are yeah. examples it's of what wow. we should do. Exactly. We role models. Exactly. 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 So thank it's you true. very much it's for true. coming yeah. through to the thank program. You. And may I take this opportunity to say you are doing such a great job to look at yourself. Oh, you are such you. a great yes, yeah. example of yeah. what a woman should be. Thank awesome. you very much, awesome. gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. I'm awesome. so humbled. Yeah. Thank you very much. We we'll continue the discussion um, next week, Wednesday, when we have the females in studio. We and hear. they'll give us <laughs> their perspective of yeah. how we are supporting one another, if we are, and how grateful we are that the women are taking part in supporting um, us as well, the men, that is. Uh, well, this is where we wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week, Wednesday. Same channel, same place. Bye-bye.